Now, before we get started, I just want to say that the planets out on Hallow's Eve were spectacular. The sky was incredibly just crystal clear. You could see everything. And, you know, my son and I went for a walk. It was very healing. And I just want to say, too, as a reminder, guys, now is a great time to grab our New Moon's Intentions book and rate our intentions of what we want to manifest from now until the full moon. And what are our steps in order to get there? By honoring the feminine, you know, we can draw, we can speak about our feelings. And then what are we going to do with the masculine? What's our practical plan? What will we do to get from point A to point B and honor that in a methodical way? All right, let's get to these channel messages. This has to do with understanding the fact that we have the keys. We have the keys to our expansion. We're working with the matter, the feminine, and the 13 spheres of knowledge. And we're expanding that with the masculine, the energy, and we're sharing it. And look, we've restored connection with the lower world, the upper world, and the middle, middle world through the middle world, okay? And this has to do with as above, so below. And there's a connection to... He's holding up two fingers here, and this means more than one thing. But what I'm feeling right now is it's peace. We're creating peace. That's 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 the information that I am being given right now, okay? And this has to do with, of course, working with the Empress and the Emperor. Now, we're going to expand. We know the matter with the masculine and right now we are working with the masculine and i want you to see he has the unk and the connection to everlasting life and the womb of creation and look at all the stars that she's working within her halo there's a connection to fertility here with the rabbit and look now the masculine is watching over the children this has to do with an elevation and the masculine being able to nurture as well as the feminine we've restored wholeness and this has to do with the cups and working with Scorpio, the great nurturer. You know, we know that the the water element is the mother and the great nurturer. We're going to get there though. Hang tight. So we're going to expand with the sun and the moon. Remember, this is all about balance. But how we're going to do that right now through the center point is with death. Death and a rebirth. And this has to do with an inner child expansion. Okay, guys, I don't want to burn the cards. But I want. I felt like I needed to have the, the flame present today. This has to do with an inner child expansion. And this patterning here, okay? This patterning is very sacred. And, you know, I just remember when I was expanding with my counterpart. And one of the first times that I really heard you know, source energy speak within me. And they said he's connected to the white rose. And then I was, you know, off creating with cactus flowers and all kinds of things to represent our connection. And there's a connection to purity here being offered through this patterning. And it's going to allow us to restore balance through the Six of Pentacles with the Earth, with the masculine and feminine. And I want you to see the the masculine is giving the feminine something, is sharing with the feminine. And her pentacle is illuminated and his isn't. There's a balance being honored there. Now, what's going to happen is much of this activation through the center is going to happen with tower moments and the divine is going to help us to remove what's no longer serving us what's not coming with us to where we're going because we're moving on we're moving on the veils being parted and we're healing from the shadows literally we're literally healing from the shadows the light is being illuminated on the shadows by these tower moments and we are we're we're actually going towards them. This is what's being represented. We're going towards them because we feel from force. We feel with the father and that is here. So look, we're having a revisitation of our five of wands charge, but with an elevation, we have six wands. So we're going to go back to our five of wands charge and we're going to do some healing work here and we're going to put the light on the shadows. 
And this has to do with removing our burdens to get to where we're going because we're about to spin the wheel and we know that the seasons are about to change. We're going to go from autumn to winter and something is going to be honored here and shifted and it is connected to the six of cups and actually getting home. We get home here. But we're getting home. This home is connected to something of the past, but through the present mo moment and also the future. And innocence, we're inner child work, healing with the children. And that's activating a new level of nurturing here with the Queen of Cups. She's got the right cup. She understands. She's seen through the illusions. Six plus one is seven. We've seen through our illusions. We understand. We know that this cup is for us. We know that we're going to nurture this cup. It's connected to our gifts. It's connected to the divine. And we've restored clarity. She's working with the Ace of Swords. Elevated. And remember, the sword is a double-edged charge. And this is activating the Two of Cups. The equality. The coming together. The creation of equity. And now we're, we're working with the King of Cups, the Great Nurturer. This is part of our expansion. This is Scorpio energy right now. This is what's being offered during this time. And we're doing purification with the cup. The cup and the sword. The cup is purifying with the sword and the sword is purifying with the cup to keep us, you know, to keep us in balance. And this is activating the King of Swords. And we've done much solar plexus healing as well as we're working with the hawk. And the hawk is swift and it's also the fastest animal on the planet. So we've got speed now to our advantage. And this is activating the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is missing in this deck. Okay, and that's for a reason because I saw two Blue Jays. And then the two Blue Jays were uh, communicating with the Northern Flicker. And the Northern Flicker was in a tiff with the Magpie. This all means something. We're going to get to that on our next reading. But you know what? We're not going to worry about that. Because I was always meant to have these cards here. Because it was when I went to go grab them in the drawer. She was with the King of Swords. And it's portal energy as well as it's Eclipse time we're going to be having a lunar eclipse and it's eclipse season we're going to be expanding much off that and this is allowing us to heal from our five of swords we're doing another level of purification work with the elements of air mission work we set forth to do and what we're removing what is the hack and what is natural what is real and I and we have to use like real to understand we're working with other dimensions here. That is real. Okay? And this is activating the Ace of Pentacles. Something is being activated through the earth. With the earth. And it's allowing us to heal with the masculine, have our transformation and get to where we're going. We had to look, but we had to elevate here to get to where we're going. And, of course, it's connected to this space and place. That's where we're going. We had to heal with force. That's why we're, we're laser focusing on working with the masculine right now. But in order to do this, we have to honor a sacrifice. A sacrifice for enlightenment. And look, there's the bird right there. Can't really wait to expand off this message with the birds, guys, next time we meet up. And right now, they're showing me it has to do with what we're putting within our cups. Look, she's putting in wine within her cup. This is old earth templating. We're putting higher vibe things within our cups right now. And the moon is showing us that. We did much work with the pumpkins. And learning about the pumpkins just with our Halloween messages and all the cooking that we were doing. And on our hearty pumpkin soup recipe, um, pumpkin stew recipe, we learned a lot about the healing properties of the pumpkin. So we are elevating what we put within. And right now... This, there's a massive connection to what we put within our body is going to help elevate our mind. So it's high vibe choices and high vibe foods, drinks, even everything. Everything we're putting within, okay guys? Media, entertainment. It's, we're, we're purging. We're, we're in a massive time of purge. And this is going to allow us to work with 
what's natural, nature, our gifts, and love within our cup, and to heal from the Three of Swords. And what this is going to do is this is going to activate fresh new patterning and new beginning. And they've said this is drastically healing with the masculine. Look, look at this staff. It's representation of working with the masculine, but it's elevated. It's a fresh approach. Look at how light that staff is, even though he's got his belongings in. And look, he's on our purification. He's on our purification here. And look at that dog. Reminds me of Biscuit Boo. And no, he's not even going to fall off that cliff. He's standing on the edge of that cliff. And he's feeling exhilarated with fresh patterning. This is the rebirth, guys. They're sharing with me right now. The fool is the rebirth. And this is what is restoring our connection. There's our elevation. Number nine, water element connected to the nine of cups. And we've healed from the devil energies and what is causing us separateness. Because of all this work that we've been doing in the creation of this new dress. Remember grace and working with the father. And knowing that this dress was created out, out of all the elements and the cosmos. And we are star seed twin flames and we're honoring that today. And yeah, we are putting power behind those words so that the masculine can expand there. It's with the humble charge. It's elevated. So we're going to apply knowledge, the knowledge with, the, you know, working with the children, the restoration of innocence, the six of cups and the knowledge of new earth. And this is expressing it in order to heal from the trickster energy and knowing that guys we're being challenged right now. And the great trickster is here and it's order for us to apply this knowledge. This is an experience and a chance for us to apply this knowledge, not for us to get back in our five of wands charge and be like, oh, life isn't fair. No, this is our opportunity to apply our expanded wisdom. And what that's going to do is it's going to free untapped energy from our Kundalini and we're going to have a light body activation with our chakras, another elevation. Because we've done much purification work from within to without. And what this is, do, this is doing is this is pulling us together. This is pulling the water and the fire together. The masculine and feminine through the center point. And the tower moments that we are having right now as we work with the divine. And this is a drastic connection to Mars. And healing with the masculine. Healing from force. Healing from aggression. Through manipulation, the manipulation of our energy. And we're having third eye activations. And this is going to allow us to activate the princess of swords and elevate with our truths to express them. And to create the positive charge with the father and fire and activate it. And we will literally activate with the king of fire. And I want you to see he's got butterfly wings. The sun is his halo. This is a transformed masculine. Why? Because the heart and unconditional love has been activated. And how was it happening? With thought, purification of thought and balance, the positive tetrahedron. And using our intuition. Look at the spider of creation. Okay. So we have the feminine and masculine here. We've restored balance. This will be a pineal gland activation. And what this is, this is, this is happening through a sacrifice. Through the earth with the bull. And that is connected to fear. And we're going to go from creating patterning patterns of fear that are creating look at what this is creating here and patterns of love light and life and we're going to restore this this is also mission work and what we came here to achieve but we're remembering it's honoring through a sacrifice and many of it many of it is our creature comforts that are destroying the earth this patterning that's destroying the earth as well as these lower vibrational toxins that we're putting within our systems you know our food and even scents our cleaning products, all different types of things. Guys, we're going higher vibe, we're honoring life, we're working with life, this is symbiosis. 
And we're going to brown these new patterns here with our medillo. And the masculine is amping this up with the feminine. And they show me this is connected to Uranus and working with Uranus. And we know Uranus works with Aquarius, the energies of new earth. And the message is, is to work with the bull and our dreams need a practical plan. So now this is switching to the masculine and honoring a practical plan in order to create our dreams. And this is a connection to our lunar eclipse being in Taurus. So the message is we need a practical plan. And guys, I did not even know our lunar eclipse was in Taurus. I am an intuitive astrologer. I don't have time to study and have healed from my fava bowl in church for that exact reason and understanding this is part of my gift. And I'm just going to honor that here with you guys today. So thanks for being a part of everything. Once again, I love you guys. And this is now working with Scorpio and Pisces. So the two water elements, Scorpio and Pisces, are going to allow us to create. And this is going to be our fantasies, the, the all, the energy of the opposites coming together, and then the energy of sex, death, rebirth, working with Pluto, working with the extremes, okay? And this is activating seahorse equality. We're going to have a special with Seahorse as well here within the future, so stay tuned for that. And Seahorse and Equality is working with the Soul Butterfly, and there it is. We elevate and expand. So this is activating Reciprocity with the Honey Bee and Prosperity with the Peacock. And we know that the Peacock is connected to the to the phoenix this is the the symbolism for the the phoenix rising from the ashes the peacock okay and this has to do with healing from connection represented by tarantula and this activation began right before halloween the day that we can speak to our ancestors and the veil is the thinnest as well as it's the end of summer and the beginning of the colder months. So we're going to have news. There's news being activated for us here. And this news is connected to nurturing. The balance restored through the center, the sun and the moon. But the sun within and we found out on um, our alchemy of the feminine and masculine at, at Halloween that, you know, of the black sun within the earth. So we're restoring connection from the central sun above and the black sun within the earth. And through our our sun, our kundalini, our, our kundalini, okay? So we, we have connected one, two, and three. We have connection. So we're going to be honoring nurturing here with cancer. And this is going to allow us to elevate with fire, elevate with the father, and work through our fears with this new moon in Scorpio, okay? And that's what the moon is is asking us to do here is to restore balance and we're going to be doing that literally and i want you to see we are doing that through letting go of what needs to go and here's our connection to the underworld the upper world through the the center world where we're restoring balance we've connected the all we've connected to everything we've removed fear and everywhere that they put a fear, we're removing it. And there's a reason why they put a fear there. And this is allowing us to expand and heal the element of air, literally, with the energies of new earth. And look at, we've done much solar plexus healing with our sacral chakra, a recalibration to the root and the earth star by working with the underworld and also letting go what needs to be let go of. And we're purifying with air. And this is also to learning how to create the Taurus here on earth. Okay, guys? That patterning. Now, this activation is going to allow us to hit our mark and hit our aim. And something is transforming by Sagittarius season. And it's going to activate through the earth. And we know right after Sagittarius is Capricorn season. So we literally have an expansion through the earth with the earth. 
and it's connected to our Ten of Pentacles, the other half of our divine inheritance. We know Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, right? This is this is it. This is our expansion. So we're working with Jupiter, and what they've shown me is Jupiter is working with water, the mother, and Venus, the planet of love, the morning star. And that Venus and Mars are working together right now in order to help us heal from aggression, force our manipulated energies and getting it untwisted with love. So we're gonna honor the feminine, that means we're gonna honor rest. And this has something to do with working with Pluto. Remember the energy of the extremes, sex, death, and rebirth. And restoring balance through the center. And that is allowing us to expand with the sun. And now we are working with the emperor. We've untwisted it with the father, healing from force, aggression. And we restore our pleasure with our Six of Cups, the Mother, by healing from our Five of Wands charge, strife. Alright guys, let's get to our next part.